so it ran really really well on my card now throughout this entire review you are going to see tons of shots of the world and how good the game looks i'm going to go ahead and just let the game speak for itself but let's go ahead and go into the most important segment when it comes to a life simulation game and that is character creation now the character creation is a big sell point with this game you can pretty much make any kind of character that you want from old to young to funny looking to realistic looking from celebrities to even your own self you're able to create whatever character that you want in the game now they do have one outfit that you can choose from but you're also able to save each outfit that you have so just in case you want to just go ahead and change your outfit around the world but you don't hey, want to go piece by piece you can literally just like, save the outfit and like click it a little all bit the other outfits that are saved in the game and go ahead and hop inside the world so just in case you want to create done, different outfits of your zone at once you can go ahead and save that outfit and then you can go inside of the world and change it accordingly however you see fit now the outfits look really 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 good the textures the quality everything looks amazing you're able to mm. do really cool features like you're able to change the kind of collar that you have if you want a long sleeve or short sleeve shirt you can change any color any color of the shirt that you want from the entire color to just the accent colors as well everything inside the game is complete if this multiplayer boy let me tell you something hey chat if this multiplayer just know it's gonna be crazy bro. because of my <laughs> when it comes to your zoi now there are tons and tons of hairstyles and i did reach out to the creators at crafted also as well just to kind of add those extra hairstyles for you know the afro hairstyles as well because i know a lot of games do not really incorporate the afro kind of hairstyles well they did a really good job but it's probably about two or three and i think the game is set to release it looks amazing you can also change the color of your background you can change the backdrop that you have you can adjust the lighting you can remove the ui from the game as well well just to kind of get that closer look of your zoe without having without seeing any of the things around it there's a photo mode also inside the character creator so just in case you want to get your Yo. thumbnails or just take really high quality pictures of the zoe that you created you can also do that as well the customization is not short at all when it comes to the character creator of enzoi i really think this is amazing the skin texture i gotta see the gameplay from the start it's in development so challenges you can the beach coastal area they have the actually inside of that world but i did choose mm. bliss bay which is their american themed world and let's go ahead and talk about rack with everything in the world now that is something that i'm really really proud that they did there's kind of like a really cool beach bay kind of gta 5 pier area that you can go to and it has an, a huge fair and interact with it it's super duper immersive and while we are talking about immersion let's go ahead and just look and acknowledge that there are cars in this game yes there are cars in this game and you can actually drive those cars inside of this game mm. now what you do is you pull up your phone the cars are relatively affordable you can choose any car that you want and you can actually go inside of this car and drive around the entire world now it's easier to travel Yo. from place to place district to district with your car all you do is kind of like click on place and you can just select drive here i did mention this in the discord as well basically when you click a little bit too far you can't drive there but that's pretty much necessary for the car now you can choose to be inside of the car the entire ride or you can skip and it does kind of put you at like is it a more closer player? domain can you play this you with your park. people there are different parking spaces and parking spots that you can manually no. drive to now the game will just kind of like make you park and then you just get out in the middle of the street which is super <laughs> which is not immersive hopefully that they were able to use their parking spots when it comes to automatically just pressing skip and going inside of the world but the traffic is super realistic the red lights are pretty long in my opinion hopefully they increase the time before the light turns green because you will sit there in the middle of traffic and actually be in traffic and you will get annoyed like I did because I ended up just driving around speeding past everyone because Chat. I did not enjoy was in the like really nice dope coastal area I had myself which is kind of in the like normal to mid kind of apartment area that I ended up customizing that I'll talk about later in the video and I also had like another family that kind of had like a really traditional area I did take my my own stance click now the traditional simmers would enjoy the point and click i really enjoy the wasd movement it actually really put me in a real immersive state of the game to just actually just sit there and control your zoi control yourself in the world it really does add in that extra immersiveness because you're literally in control you can sweep outside hopefully that's there with the 
now you have the description of how your zoi is feeling on the bottom left hand corner and on the far left there are like all of these dots and each dot basically breaks down what your zoi is feeling directly so let's say that your zoi is feeling displeased if you go over to the tab it will just basically tell you hey your zoi is hungry or your zoi is sick then you have to figure out what you have to do as far as what you need for your zoi if you're sick you have to buy a first aid kit if you're hungry go to the refrigerator and eat if you feel embarrassed it's going to tell you if you feel romantic or dazed it will basically tell you in that description bar as well you can go into your refrigerator as well and also buy food directly from there there were a ton this is gonna be fire fans i'm not gonna lie this is gonna be tough bro if it's multiplayer game this is gonna be crazy if it's multiplayer bro if this is multiplayer and you can walk around with real people bro nine times out of ten it might be though that's gonna be crazy Tons of options from food the food models actually look really really cool the eating animation looks good as well you don't actually have anything in your fork you just kind of scoop and eat it doesn't break immersion i feel like that's something that actually didn't break the immersion i don't have to see the food they got a phone bro if you can call up your homies nigga, I, hey and tell them niggas to pull up to the club hey 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 that's what i'm saying if you can call your homies and tell them to pull up to the club gang or, or send them a text message bro and it's actually like online gameplay like literally that, going that's crazy, inside bro. of my zoe's mouth if they want to add that feature that's amazing that's another thing for immersiveness but it didn't break it at all i like how gradually when you were eating the plate kind of diminished itself so that's a bro, really cool what? thing that you're able to do in the game um just as far as making your zoe <laughs> Bro, GTA 6 better be hard, bro. GTA 6. Bro. I feel good and Do y'all not see this? Bro, GTA, bro, GTA, bro, bro. bro. And eating. I know a lot of people probably, some, a lot of people actually want to know how the food cycle is because are the foods diverse? I know there are tons of mods to kind of just add more food in previous Sims, especially the Sims 3 um, with what that the, aspect. But you're, you know, we got to see buy pressure, bro, because if this is coming out, bro. GTA 6 got to be crazy. Go out and buy food it's really the point of view that you get. Like how he's sitting in the restaurant, bro. You can look out the window. You can see out the window across the street, bro. From a convenience store or a cafe. And but if GTA 6 is similar to this, GTA 6 is going to be way better. Let me tell you why. Because you can actually get all your homeboys. <laughs> you can shoot this restaurant up. Man, that's all I'm saying. Like you probably can't even get a gun on here, bro. You're also able to buy it directly from like, the You know what I'm saying? Like you probably... You probably can't get a gun on here. That's why GTA 6, if GTA 6 have just these graphics, even though I feel like GTA 6 might have better graphics than this, but we already seen girly twer twerking on the car in GTA 6 trailer. She was twerking on the car. Man, bro, it was a club, the strippers. That's what I'm saying. When I see some strippers, that's what I'm saying, now, based bro. off the personal life of your Zoe, how our relationship now? romantic okay. relationship now each tier of relationship does add more animation so the more that you're talking to your zoi and getting inside of those different kind of categories of your relationship they will gradually add more ways that you can see in gta 6 you're right i'm robbing this store right here right here i'm right no I'm, I'm robbing him i'm gonna go ahead and tell you no, i'm robbing him when gta just come out bro you gotta think about it right Y'all don't understand, bro. GTA 6, bro, when you ain't had no snacks, bro, and you needed them, bro. You know, no, no, we was robbing him. You know, we was robbing him. We was robbing him for the snacks. Yep. Because you put you on, online, you needed the snacks to hurry up and get help while you doing missions. But you ain't want to spin your bread. So it was, yeah, you, you, you up, you up and blink on, on him. Yeah, he's done. That's what I'm saying. That's what it's. But the graphics is nice though. Interact with your Zoe and add more animations and kind of cool cutscenes. Okay. And if you kind of add both, like a business and a friendship relationship, you also can have like a really cool business savvy friendship that you can have. Okay. And also unlock different things of that character as well. See that person in the back? I I would withdraw right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know how you know how the AI's be like, oh my god, and they get to running. That's 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 what I'm feeling, bro. Like I need to withdraw at any moment, bro. The same exact thing with romanticness, and also when you're married, you actually have more okay. and more options that you can have. The more you become okay. friends with your partner, or when you become more business okay. savvy, it's really cool things as far as the tier system. Now, the only thing that I would say that the game does need a little bit of work on is how fast you're able to become friends or romanceable. Now, that's also able to be tweaked inside of the world as well. But just off base factor, I do think that it should take a little. bit Can you use my bunch? That's my bad. Can you use my bunch, huh? 
Can you snap on? Can you snap on? You gotta be able to snap on, bro. You gotta be able to snap on, bro. Got to, bro. After they just did all that, you gotta be able to snap on. Bro, it gotta be multiplayer, bro. Like, it has to be multiplayer, bro. Like, if it's not multiplayer, bro, it's GG. One more time for your Zoid. I don't wanna sit here and Zoid up with an AI all day, chat. I don't to wanna be do able that. To become friends or a, a business partners or romanceable. But at the same time, you can actually tweak that in the world to make it a lot harder for Zoids or make it a lot easier. So, just so it can make your Zoid kind of feel more authentic. Do they have a hard time? Do you wanna give them a hard time being, being romanceable with other characters or being friends with them? It's a really cool feature that you can add. But but it's completely customizable so if you feel like your zoe is is getting friends too fast you're actually able to change that inside of the world editor you're also able to receive gifts from your friends that you met along the way so you would get a text message like hey i sent you a gift you have an actually boxed gift and you will open it it'll be like some really cool toy you can place it inside of your house so the interactiveness with Yo, Zoe, this is tough and everything about your experience is very very immersive a really cool thing about controlling your zoe and just basically controlling everything there is actually an in-game ai helper that's able to help you in game so just in case you're having a problem or just in case something is happening you can type in or like i don't know what to do here you can type in and ask a question and they will directly direct you to where you need to go or what you need to do and also if let's say your zoe is stuck or something is going on you have an emergency escape button that you're able to use just to make sure that your zoe is okay and also you're able to just go ahead and set money cheats already so just in case you want your zoe to have a lavish lifestyle you don't want to kind of build up slowly and gradually to get there you can just go ahead and give your zoe nah nah it's fire but uh, gta 6 like you ain't like you gotta grind, bro. Like I remember them hard days, bro, doing the car grind, bro. Like you had to, you had to steal the cars. You had to go hook them up, send them back. I remember them, them lonely nights by myself. Hit my man's up, like, hey, bro, help me sell these cars. No, bro, I need you to help me with mine. We had to actually build up. They got an automatic money cheat in this game where you could, like, you know, I'm gonna get on there and do that. It's just the the pressure. On GTA, how you start with zero dollars, you got to get out the mud, bro. You got to get out the mud, bro. They should have made you get it out the mud on this game, bro. You had to get it out the mud. Like, you start off with zero dollars. You looking for a lick. I need a dollar, bro. I need a dollar. You trying to find the first mission you can do, the first person you can rob, bro. Zoy more money immediately um over time they did update the game to give us like a set money cheat by itself so that was cool they gave they us gotta a take lot that of money updates the throughout this pre-release build just to make sure we have the best time possible now one thing i also want to talk about is being a zoi at work how is work now i only did oh one they got work though one of my zoys and doan one of my doan zoys and he worked at a convenience store mm. and it was the most immersive experience that i think i've had ever in the game it's up there mm. with like job simulation and stuff like that and that's not me over exaggerating when i was inside of the convenience store when i worked for my zoe i had to wake up at about eight o'clock in the morning I had to go ahead and get ready get dressed take a shower brush my teeth and go ahead and get ready to go i drove directly to work and then i also ate, went inside of work say hello to my boss and i was able to basically work you have to over time the shelves will get empty you have to organ you have to restock the shelves you have Man. to organize the shelves as well you have to mop the floor floor gradually to make sure that it was clean and you have to sit there and watch the desk and in the ample times i didn't understand it at first so i kind of didn't get Man. all the green check marks but you also get that as well when it comes to doing a job with your zoi i did not do any of the other jobs but i will also have another video talking about just the really cool things that i love about zoys in general but just to break down just a job experience it is very immersive and speaking on immersion we cannot talk about immersiveness in any life simulation game without talking about creating the space for your zoi and that is build mode every single thing inside of build mode is customizable everything from the different textures from the colors to the mm. stool colors from the glossiness from the floor do you want to be glossy? Up. you want it to be matte you can also make your own color swatches you can change different variations of color swatches the build mode is insane they also have an ai feature where you're able to kind of add your own custom ai paintings and make the paintings look really really good or sometimes it didn't work oh yeah perfectly people, all the time. people who play sims gonna love this 
no cap. Thing. This square Minecraft box house. In life, um, it felt like I was literally in Ikea. Like, it, it was just cool. It was a very fun, awesome, dope, customizable experience. I can't wait to see what other creators have created when it comes to build mode because I'm not the best at it. I had a very good time. And if I can make this, as, as you're seeing on the screen right now, I'm pretty sure there are people that can make even better things when it comes to build mode. Now, we've talked about the world spaces. We've talked about actually being a Zoid. We've talked about jobs. We've talked about customization. We did a lot of things in this game. We talk about a lot of things in this game that I really and honestly enjoy, but there were some things that I did not enjoy. And this is me saying thank you again to Crafton for letting me be able to also share the negatives I had. And the one big thing, there was one big thing in the game that I honestly cannot wait for them to add because I did address this and they did say that this is one of the main things that they're hoping to add, which is multitasking. Zoys cannot multitask in this game. That's kind of the sad thing about it is that when you are trying to talk to a Zoe while sitting down, you can't. When you're trying to talk to a Zoe like on the couch, you can't. You have to literally get up and have a stand on conversation basically. It did take out a lot of immersion. Now you will get used to it, but just knowing that the feature isn't there is a lot louder in the experience because I wasn't really able to kind of sit down and have that one-on-one -on -one with my Zoys sitting down at a bar or at at a lounge or at, at a cafe. Like you are not okay. able to talk to the Zoe is not in your world space but they're down the street i can see the bubble on their head but they're not coming but like i said that was only my experience when i was in myself Zoe. when i moved or when i used another Zoe, that didn't happen as often so i don't know if it was just me was it just the version that i was playing in the beginning there's got to be multiplayer in the bro. discord and I, I don't know if they updated it i want them to I say something like about multiplayer bro driving like i said earlier in the video you cannot point like a lunatic and didn't happen as I mentioned it in the discord and I, I don't know if they updated it but I feel like they did because it just stopped I was able to invite people over inside of my home after um, I was having a problem but it did persist probably a half the time of my playthrough and oh, I would have bad. to just kind of meet them like a lunatic and drive all the way where they are and kind of annoy them and speaking of driving like I said earlier in the video you cannot point and click on the map and go like far you can't drive far so basically if if I'm in a further place than I am like if I'm here and it's over there and I click drive here it'll be grayed out but if I'm like right by it I could drive there so I don't know if that's a glitch or that's a problem but it's something I did mention in the discord as well but those are the only problems that i had throughout the entire game now the multitasking was extremely immersion breaking in my opinion but at the same it's a tad but overall the game is amazing let's talk about just enjoy in general in my opinion this will be the best life simulation game there will ever be from graphics to character creation to world okay. spaces to interactiveness to jobs to karma to reputation everything about this game is something that i honestly had an amazing experience with this is my first time ever playing a game early um and i'm very thankful and i'm very grateful that crafton was able to let me have this opportunity with this game because i had a blast i had fun i play it every single day that i have it i will be streaming this game i will be making a little bit more videos about this game as well so you guys can ha basically be in this experience with me because it's one of the greatest experiences that i had for a very long time now mr kim was a part of the sims community when it came to modding so he knows exactly what people have been asking for for years and he's been able to implement this in his own life and actually make this game possible and i'm extremely extremely grateful that they were able to let me put my hands on this game and i had an absolute blast i see the passion the discord and crafting the team were very interactive with us um, we had a zoom call with them as well before we were able to play the game just showing what they wanted to add what they've added and things that i can't even say that are coming into the game that they're really excited about showcasing to people in the public now they will be at gamescom and on august 21st so please tune into that there will also be a really cool announcement at gamescom as well that you guys should be extremely excited for if i didn't play test this game and i was able just to watch gamescom and be able to see what they're going to present to us i would be extremely happy so i know you guys will this was a great experience this is a very fun experience i hope i'm able to play the next play test i hope i'm able to just continue to stay in this community because i'm very excited to see what mods people bring 
um, with clothing, with like interactiveness. I know the modding scene will be amazing with this. He's very open with it. It's using Unreal Engine 5, so the modding capabilities in the software is gonna be a little bit easier to understand because it's in the software that is able for you to do almost anything. The features are there, everything is there. The game is great. I had about a 10 out of 10 performance with this game. Now, I know I said about the sitting down is very immersion breaking, but once you are actually in the game, all that goes out the way because there's so much stuff that you can do. The game is great. I wanna say thank you for watching this video. If you watch this video all the way here, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know your opinions or comments. What do you want to see in this game? I'll be able to showcase and give you guys all of my unraw, uncut opinion until the end of this year. So whatever you guys want, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you to Crafton. Thank you, Mr. Kim. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you guys for being here and making this opportunity possible. Hopefully we get to play more and more games in the future. This game was amazing. Enzo gets a 10 out of 10 for me. This game is real. Be excited. Tune into Gamescom on August 21st. And I'm out.